Hey beautiful souls, thank you so much for being here and welcome. My name is Danielle. So today's pick a card topic is a viewer requested topic. We're going to look at some new energies coming in. So new love coming in. We're going to see who they are and when they are coming. So today there won't be any channeled messages for obvious reasons. I will still be rolling the astrology dice and pulling the initial tiles for extra confirmation of maybe some names, some zodiac signs. Now, I will say you are still welcome to watch this if you already have somebody in mind. Maybe you just haven't had a relationship with them yet, so it would still technically fit for like a new love connection. Um, or you could also look at this in from the perspective of the person on your mind possibly having some sort of transformation where they come through as... A whole new version of them so those are two possibilities so if you are wondering like well how will I know whether or not this is my person like in a new energy um, one stay open like remain open to the energy and I will give I will describe like who this person is what they're like and if it's just not like sounding like your person at all then you might want to pick another group. If none of them are sounding like your person, then it's probably not your reading today, which is okay. You know, just don't force it. You'll know by how you feel. And I think I'm also going to be pulling whether or not, like, you will recognize this person, like, this connection instantly or not. All right, so I do have Oracle cards already pre-shuffled, selected. Um... And yeah, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can click on one of the links in the top of the description box, or you can visit my website. So yeah, let's just dive in. All right, group one, you have the Mystic Monday Tarot with the Angel Lights. So as you can tell, just to give you a heads up, my lighting's a bit different. My little ring light kicked the bucket, so... I'm here with my desk lamp and I have it turned so I'm not blinded by the light. <laughs> All right, group uh, two. You have the Golden Universal Tarot with the Rose Quartz. And group three, you have the Gentle Heart Tarot with the Carnelian. All right, your timestamps are in the middle of the description box as well as pinned in the comment section. And I'll see you lovelies at your reading. Hey, group one, you pulled or you picked the... Uh, Mystic Monday Tarot with the Angelite. Welcome. All right. So who is this new love coming in for my group ones? Who is this person? New love coming in for group ones. Who's this new energy coming in? All right, we have the Hanged Man, or the Hanged Woman in this deck. We have the Five of Swords. Ten of Cups. Four of Swords. We have the star. As you can tell, I'm not taking reversals. We have Aquarius. Okay, we have uh, strong swords energies. So Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Ace of swords. Six of swords, ace of swords. And the nine of wands. Okay. So it could be an air sign or this could be confirmation that you guys are an air sign. Okay. Well, one thing I will say is this person is pretty blunt. <laughs> um, 
they're not afraid to share their ideas or share new ideas. This could also be somebody that you work with uh, that is coming, you know, coming into your work life. I feel that you have somebody here that has like a strong will, strong determination. Um, I feel like at times they are a little bit quiet, but when they speak again, very blunt, this is somebody who is not afraid of competition and sometimes will like, I feel like this person would be a master at debating. Like they'd be very well, they could have even taken law, like some sort of law course in school, or maybe you are um, in the law field. I'm getting possibly family law as well. You have somebody here, I feel that This person is looking for the one themselves. They are looking for somebody to settle down with. I feel like they're very family oriented, but they're also very open. So this could also be like, um, and by open, I, I'm not talking about open relationships. I feel like, I mean, again, I shouldn't say that depending on your situation, you could be, you know, wanting a family, but maybe not having it the traditional way. Actually, let's see. Did that even make sense? <laughs> I'm sorry if it didn't. Not, I'm talking like, you know, marriage wise, like maybe the two of you aren't necessarily looking for marriage, but um, commitment together. All right, so I wanna clarify. I feel like this person themselves has been through a lot, which is also why they are very strong and very blunt. In the past, I feel like this could have been a bit of a people pleaser. But I feel like they know when to bite their tongue and know when to speak up. They're Again, they're not afraid to speak their truth and they're not afraid of a little competition. All right, so... I have a ten of cups. We have Pluto energy, Scorpio. Okay, yeah. This person's looking for something serious. And I feel like this person, again, has been through a lot, has been through a lot in their family dynamic. They could have even recently gotten out of, um, they could be divorced. Okay. Who is this person coming in for my group ones? Who is this person? Three of wands. You have somebody who has, um, looking forward to their goals. Yeah, this is somebody... Yeah, this is talking about a new beginning with the fool. For the four of pentacles. We have the king of wands. Nine of pentacles. Okay, yeah, they are single for sure. We have the devil with Capricorn. We have the Knight of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. Okay. So even though they are looking for the one, they are, so obviously they are single. But I feel like they're not, they're not in a rush to find the one. They're not in a rush to settle down. They're open-minded, keeping their options open. And the reason why they're not wanting to just jump into a relationship is because they want to, 
They do want to enjoy their freedom. They want to have fun. Maybe, you know, have fun taking it slow, dating, um, especially if they have gotten out of something that was a little bit messy here. I feel like the reason why is because they're still healing. So again, they want to take this slow. I feel like this person also isn't afraid to take action when they want to, um, when they are attracted to somebody. I also feel like um, with the King of Wands here and the Devil, I feel like this person is like physically attractive, like very enticing. Okay, so why is the Three of Swords here? Scorpio. Okay, so yeah, they've, um, we have the death with Scorpio. So yeah, they've recently ended something and they're still healing from that. So again, I feel like even though like you can have somebody that recently got out of something, like you could be wondering like, well, why are they looking for the one if they're hurting, if they're healing? You can still look for the one still be open to finding the one well um healing from a breakup or healing from an old relationship just because you ha had a painful experience doesn't mean you have to fully close yourself off to love um and i feel like this is what this person has done like yes that experience sucked for them it was painful but it didn't close them off from love and i feel like they are here wanting to enjoy the moment wanting to enjoy all the experiences and really take things slow. I also feel like this person's person is working on building up their finances and focusing on career as well. They're really thinking of their future. So I want to clarify more. Why is the devil here? Why is the devil here? Ace of Wands. Oh yeah, this person's like hot. <laughs> I'm getting, yeah, very, very hot. <laughs> I think when they come in, that's what you're going to notice the most. So you're, you're going to see them, you're going to be like, oh my god. And that recently just came out in another reading I did that I haven't posted yet, but it will be posted. <sighs> All right. Okay, let's get a little more. Where are they likely to meet? Where? Ten of Swords. Ten of Pentacles. Four of Cups. Okay, so I feel like some of you are trying to manifest in new love. I feel like you guys have been hurt in the past yourselves and you're ready to find the one to settle down with. You may have gone through a lot of experiences where there's been a lot of players, like ups and downs, hot and cold, and you're done with that. So you're focusing on manifesting the life, the dream of your desires. I also feel like you could meet this person through some community function or even family events but I'm getting community could also be like new to your community as well like new to the area I feel like this person could live in the same area as you in your city or town or whatever well I guess if it's town then it definitely would be close because towns are smaller than cities Especially if it's like a village, it'd definitely be, um, yeah. All right. Will you recognize this person? Will group one recognize them? Actually, you know what? I'm going to, what is, not scrap that. <laughs> what is group one's first impression other than that they're hot? They're attractive. What is group one's first impression of them? Uh, 
All right, we have the chariots, Cancer, and we have the magician. I feel like they're mysterious. You're intrigued by them. You feel pulled towards them. Uh, we have Cancer, Gemini, and Virgo, and we also have the Eight of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you guys are a little bit unsure, but you're definitely feeling pulled towards them. Why is the Eight of Swords here? I feel like they might intimidate you a little bit. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Eight of Cups. I feel like this person's going to bring you out of your comfort zone. Yeah, this is definitely new energy that feels um, kind of intimidating. But I feel, it, yeah, it brings you out of your comfort zone. And the Eight of Cups is about letting go, walking away. Uh, moving on to something better, you know. It could also talk about spiritual awakening. Okay, let's get a little more on this with your Oracle cards. We have knowledge. We have bliss. This is my union card. We have angel of strength. And last but not least, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. I feel like this person's going to test your strength. I also feel like with knowledge here, this person could also like challenge you. Like I said, this person's not afraid of competition. I also feel like they're open to debating things. This is somebody that will really keep your mind going will, you know, oh, what's the challenge you in, in good ways and also in ways that might drive you a little bit insane. And that could also be why the first impression comes out. It could be something that they say. Maybe they come across a little bit, a little bit as a know-it-all. But I also feel like unexpectedly with bliss and express your love, I feel like when this person first comes in, other than noticing that they are like super attractive, um, I feel like you're you may not notice them right away. Like with knowledge here and strength, I feel like. Again, you might feel a little bit intimidated by them and, you know, something like a bit of a know-it-all, maybe a little bit, I don't want to say narcissistic, but they could even come across as, um, they seem arrogant, but I feel like there's more to them than what meets the eye. I feel like this is why they're intimidating because they, they bring out some parts in you that, um, need to be addressed. So if they're bringing up any like insecurities, specific things that you don't like, I feel like that's an opportunity for you to go within and work through whatever that um, certain belief is that maybe you have about certain people. But I do see that the two of you are looking for the one here and I feel again that it might not be quite so obvious but you do notice their looks right off the bat but to, to speak them to speak to them no you wouldn't notice right away i think it'd be like one of those things where they're like could be at a community like some sort of function and this person's talking and maybe I feel like when they talk people when they speak people are mesmerized by them um the way they are with their words so they could even be like a public speaker of some kind again I was going back to like family law even um and it's kind of like you might hear them talking and everybody just like in awe with them and you'd be like you'll be like ugh 
this person thinks that they know everything, but then you start to get to know them and there's more to what meets the eye. All right. So I want to see also, hopefully I remember all these for the other two groups because I'm just kind of winging it. So if you're watching the other two groups and it's not the same, I'm sorry. What makes group two fall for this, or sorry, group one. What makes group one fall for this person? How does group one for, fall for this person? Seven of Cups. Oh, uh, you'll be daydreaming about them, fantasizing. And Temperance, okay, we have Sagittarius. No. Ten of Wands. This is somebody that wants to help you out. So, like I said, they may come across at first as a know-it-all, maybe a bit arrogant, but then they come across as someone who wants to help, wants to, like, lighten your load a bit, um, and that's, like, no weird pun intended. <laughs> if they know that you're struggling... They'll want to help. This is someone that actually does care about others. So if you're stressed, they're going to want to sit down and talk with you and, you know, ask how you're feeling, um, ask you what they can do to help. And I feel like when they do that, you're going to be like drooling over this person. And then as you're going to start having dreams about them and fantasizing about them. So... Yeah, it's basically them helping you. So maybe your um, love language is like acts of service. That's what I'm getting here. Acts of service from this person. It's like showing up. And I feel like this person, when you really get to know them and you get them alone, not just in their, their charming state, they are actually very calm and serene there's something very peaceful and balanced about them that you weren't expecting and i feel like this is what really does it for you i also feel like the fantasies about them <laughs> become very overwhelming for you as well all right so let's see if this deck will tell us when this person's coming in now keep in mind uh, this reading is timeless, so depending on when you're watching this, I might pull like two cards from here. Hopefully this deck, or hopefully spirit, will let us know, because sometimes there's cards in here that, where it's like, oh, when you're ready to find love, it'll come to you, or something. Oh, someone's calling. When love comes a calling. <laughs> All right, when is this person coming in for my group ones? Oh, shit. Okay, within a couple days. Let's get one more. Don't force things. You know, see? So even if they don't show up when a, within a couple days, don't worry. Don't panic. I feel like this person will come in. Don't force it. Also, if you do recognize that they come in, you know, don't go too crazy and, like, pounce at them. <laughs> Just allow things to unfold naturally. Uh, but I, this within a couple days, I feel like it's going to happen sooner than expected. And maybe some of you are trying to, like, do those techniques where it's, like, manifest your... Manifest a specific person even though you don't have anybody specific in mind, but that would be like a love interest within a few days Or even by Valentine's Day or whatever because that holiday is coming up All right, so let's see your zodiac signs This could be you this could be this person We have Aries We have first house Aries Oh my God, Aries again, or first house again. 
So this person is strong, like has a lot of fire in their chart, I feel. And we have Aquarius. All right, I'm seeing Dave. D, D, Dan. Uh, Danny. Now this would be the like female spelling. Danielle, that could also be your name. G, K, H, maybe Hank. G, Angie, we have I, Gigi, or Georgia, we have J, Jake, O, John, I, V, and O. Someone likes Bon Jovi. Uh, what else do we have here? Hmm. Angela, Angie, like I just said. Joe, so Joseph, Josephine, Joanne. I'm also seeing Candy, like K A N D I. So Candace might not necessarily be spelled that way. Nitty. All right, I think I'm gonna leave it there. They may they may drive a van or a Kia, or somebody drives a Kia or a van. I'm also seeing Gio, so Giovanni, Giovanna. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. So that is what I have for your group one. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm wishing you guys all the best. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey, group two, you chose the Golden Universal Tarot with the Rose Quartz. Welcome. All right, let's see who this person is that's coming in for you. Who is this new love coming in for my group twos? Ooh, is coming in for group twos. All right, we have the Emperor. Oh, sorry, Aries. Yeah, okay. Uh, five of Cups. With the King of Cups. Seven of Pentacles. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Sagittarius. Ace of Cups. Page of Wands, Seven of Swords, all right, hmm. 
Hmm. I feel like this could be a renewal of love or like someone from your past that maybe um, you never really had a chance to have a relationship with. Maybe things never got off the ground, but there was like an interest there. I want to see. Okay. But the Ace of Cups can talk about a renewal or new love coming in. I'll see you. I'm also getting for some of you with the Five of Cups that um, you may have been hurt and never thought that you would find love again. So this person could be very unexpected. But this is supposed to describe supposed to describe them. So why is the Five of Cups here? Who is this person? With the Hierophant. All right, Taurus. Yeah, I feel like this is somebody that you were wanting to be with in the past or that you were with who could be coming back around. Why is... So there could be a renewal. So like I was saying at the in the intro, this could be somebody coming through with brand new energy and but somebody that you've known before or that you've been with before or maybe were hoping to be with but maybe some things just for some reason it didn't work out the two of you were never actually together but maybe finally now you are able to have your chance with them so that could be the story here um let's see why is the wheel of fortune coming or why is the wheel of fortune here queen of pentacles Okay, so with the Emperor, the King of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, even the Hierophant here, I feel like there's been, this person has had a chance to grow, to mature. There has been, I feel like it's been a long time. Hmm. Why is the Seven of Swords here? I feel like this is somebody that you don't expect coming back, actually. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Ten of Swords. Yeah, you've had a painful ending with them. It was painful. I feel like there were things that weren't expressed. Why is the Seven of Swords here with the Ten of Swords? star we have Aquarius this could be an Aquarius yeah I feel like you, you were hoping it would be this person and something happened that um, unexpectedly maybe ended this connection and you felt very hurt and I feel like they did too but I feel like this person is coming back around like with that Wheel of Fortune. This could talk about cycles. Um, could be that there was a, a lesson that needed to be learned within this connection before the two of you came together. Before, like, depending on what your beliefs are, maybe believe in, um, like, the universe or God or the divine. Having the two of you learn lessons before you come together. That sort of thing. But they are coming in with fresh energy and definitely more mature. I feel like it's been a while. It's, there's, it's been a long while for the two of you. Clarify seven of pentacles. Four of pentacles. I feel like this person has also had, um, has kept to themselves. And I feel like they've held on to you for a long time as well. I feel like the two of you never really got over each other. And again, this is supposed to be, like I said, new love. But like I said, 
I feel like the two of you weren't really together. So it would be new in a way, in a sense. But you know this person. So if you're looking for somebody that you don't know and you don't have an interest in anyone that you've ever known in your life or in the past, um, yeah, pick one or maybe, well, I haven't done three, so I don't know <laughs> what's going to come through for group three, but you can pick group three. Um, okay, what else? Who's this person? What's this person like when they're coming in? Yeah, new energy, the fool. They're coming in brand new. Uh, hermit energy. Um, they've done their soul searching. We have Virgo. We have the Queen of Swords. We have the Lovers, Gemini. Six of Pentacles. Ten of Cups. Three of Swords and the Moon. Okay, you have somebody here that is a very generous person, but they're not afraid to set boundaries. I feel like they keep a lot of themselves hidden. This is somebody that doesn't take love uh, lightly. Even though the two of you never got off the ground in the past or, you know, never got together fully, I think the two of you really had very deep, strong feelings where it just kind of seemed like the two of you would naturally end up together. That's how it was in the past. But again, something happened where it ended unexpectedly but I feel like the two of you never lost feelings for each other. And it's it's kind of like the like fate or destiny is bringing the two of you back together. It could have been in the past like a right person, wrong time sort of situation. Whereas now the two of you are being brought together under the right circumstances. Right, why is... This person has a lot of hidden pain. I also feel like they could at times um, struggle with depression. They may isolate themselves and be like very introverted. I also feel that this person, when they're hurting, when they're in a lot of pain, they um, distance themselves from people so that they're not um, bringing that energy outward and putting it on to everybody else. I feel like this is the type of person who's like a sufferer in silence type. Why is the three of swords here? Okay, we have the knight of pentacles. So yeah, they're... They're very cautious as they move forward. So they're very careful and um, they plan. Because they don't want to get hurt. Why is the moon here? We have Pisces with the moon. Did I say that? We have Sagittarius with um, Temperance. Okay, yeah, they're very careful with their emotions. You have somebody here that is more balanced. Um, I feel like they have a balance. They're more balanced within their masculine and feminine energies. Uh, more in tune with their emotions and with their intuition. All right, so. How will, um, forgetting what I asked group one, because I was just winging it at that point. How will group one, How will they come in, for, or sorry, how will they come in for group two? Oh my God, now I'm messing up the groups. How will they come in for group two? King of Swords. Six of Wands. Judgment, okay. This person wants to clear the air. 
They're coming in to redeem themselves to fix the situation. They're coming through very honest. They want to have, they're very serious. They want to like, look at this guy. Like he's, he's serious, man. <laughs> he wants to talk. Even with the king, the king of cups, he's got that look on his face where it's like, and they, <laughs> your person could <laughs> have that look, um, like me, if, if you were to ever see me just like randomly, I, I don't look approachable. I look like I have a resting bitch face <laughs> if I don't smile. And um, I say about my husband, he's got the resting bro face. Like he does not look approachable at all. So <laughs> and this guy here, he doesn't, he looks like intimidating. So, <laughs> but I feel like he's very serious about what he has to say. Like he, he's no BS. So it could be that this person coming in, they do have like, if they're not smiling, they look a bit intimidating. So they may not look friendly at first glance. But I, again, I also feel like this person is a little bit of an introvert. So that could also be why they don't look uh, approachable at first. But yeah, they have something to say to you. So I feel like they are approaching you. All right, what else did I ask? So, really don't need to, I asked uh, for group one if they would recognize this person. I feel like I don't need to ask that for you because I feel like you know this person already. Hmm. All right, I'll ask this. Will you have a sense? that they're coming in soon, that they're gonna reach out soon. Will group two have an inkling that they're going to reach out, that they're coming in? Oh yeah, yeah, we have uh, Libra with the justice card. Yeah, you'll know. This says yes, you'll know. And you'll also know if they're being honest too. Which I feel that they will be. Okay. Well, I feel like we don't need to ask what's going to make you fall for this person. So I feel like the two of you still have feelings for each other. All right. So I'm just going to leave it there. Let's see your oracle cards. All right, we have romance. Oh, sweet. We have codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So that could have been one of the issues. Um, maybe somebody had to deal with that first. Look, seriously, reconcile. Holy shit, confirmation. And we have adjacent possibilities. So yeah, I really feel like this person is coming around. And I feel like with this, uh, this is going back to, you know, it may not have been right in the past. Like I feel like your, your spirit guides or God or whoever, the universe, I feel like was protecting the two of you. And I feel like some of you like feel that this is your person, even though you may have been like distanced from them for quite some time. You always knew that the two of you, like, someday, however, like, the universe or God or whoever would bring you back together when it was the right moment. And I feel like this is confirmation that, yes, this person is coming back. And I feel like with adjacent, adjacent I can't even say that now, adjacent possibilities, 
I feel like you might not expect how they're going to show up. But yes, I feel like they will be the ones to make the move towards you. And there are still romantic feelings here. All right, so let's see if we can get a time frame. I'm going to pull two just in case because, again, this is timeless. So depending on when you're watching this, hopefully Spirit isn't um, being a smart ass today. <laughs> I mean that in a nice way. I swear, like the the guide I use, the um, you know the the spirit guide I use to channel that I connect with a lot, um, definitely is sarcastic. All right. So, when is this person coming in? When is this person coming in for my group twos or coming back? All right, we have six months from now, so it could be within the next six months. Depending on when it, what are we in? So, could be by August. You could be watching this in August 2024. And we have winter. Now, we are, I'm filming this in February, the beginning, near the beginning of February. We are still in winter. So what this is telling me is within the next six months, it could be anywhere from now, from the next month or so to August 2024, or whenever you're watching this. Because I do intend that all my readings are timeless, so... It doesn't even matter the year. You could be watching this in 2025. All right, so some signs. We have Scorpio, uh, third house Gemini. We have Libra, and we have Gemini. Right, so Scorpio, Gemini, and Libra. Right, we have L O I T O tool. Someone could work with tools. I'm also thinking tool like the is it rock band, metal band with H. Seeing toy, you could have known this person from childhood. <laughs> That's not a nice name or a nice word. <laughs> Hold on. Let me move that. They're sliding. They're, they're going to reach out and say, hey. Uh, we have a lot of O's. E. Hey, ya. <laughs> now I'm thinking. Uh, what's that? Outcast song. We have G, D, G. We have a blank tile that could be anything. We have A and U. Seeing hedgehog. Someone could have a hedgehog or maybe like to play Sonic. Seeing Talia. Not Delilah. Hey there, Delilah. Uh, I don't, I think I'm drawing some blanks for the names. Troy. Hmm. 
Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it there. Um, yeah, so let me know if you guys see anything in the tiles that might stand out. Somebody that maybe you've known. You don't have to say the name if you don't feel comfortable, obviously. Um, but yeah, that is... I'm also seeing like AUG, like August... All right, yeah, I'm going to leave it there. So I'm wishing you guys all the best. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey, group three, you chose the Carnelian with the Gentle Heart Tarot. All right, let's see. Who is this new love coming in for my group threes? Who is coming in? We have Page of Wands, Page of Crystals, Three of Cups. This is somebody who's a lot of fun. We have Eight of Diamonds, The Empress. We have Libra and Taurus coming through with The Empress. We have the Two of Crystals, Five of Diamonds. Five of Cups. And we have the Four of Cups. Okay. With the Five of Diamonds here, I feel like this is somebody who maybe recently moved out on their own. I want to see here. Why is the Five of Cups here? Why is the Five of Cups here? Nine of Crystals. Okay, this is somebody that's been hurt uh, by love, but they haven't given up. It seems to be a theme today. Um... Yeah, because we see here, like, it's normally, it's the person with the Five of Cups, they have their back turned on the Two Cups, and they're focused on the Three Cups spilled over. I feel like this person is, like, staring down at the Two Cups. They're still standing. So, I feel like this person recently had a falling out with friends. This person is a lot of fun. Um... It definitely hasn't dampened this person's spirit, although, you know, they've been through a lot. I feel like this person could have also recently, like, moved, um, like, made a big move. Not only, like, for their career, but for themselves as well. So they could have traveled. So once you get to know this person, they could have been, like, Oh, you know, I, I came here from across the other side of the country or whatever, or even a different country. But this person is very kind, very generous. Um, they may also be a parent. Or they just have that um, nurturing maternal energy about them like uh, a nurturer someone that cares deeply for others they could be in the field of maybe nursing a doctor a counselor therapist of some kind could also work in the shelter I'm getting for some of you, they, they may work in the shelter because they were maybe in like foster care or in and out of shelters in their life. So they've had a lot of that experience. And this is why they want to help others because they've been in that. Uh, they have experience there. Oh, 
right. Who is this person? They're very passionate about their work, though. All right, we have the Page of Diamonds. This could be somebody who's very curvy. Just noticing her very curvy figure there. We have um, Seven of Swords. They're a bit mysterious. We have the Four of Wands. They could have been married before. Like I said, they could be a parent as well. The Four of Swords. The Fool. Every group had the Fool. <laughs> the Ten of Diamonds. We have Judgment with Pluto. Scorpio Energy. And we have the Four of Diamonds. So we have Four, Four, Four. That may be significant. Uh, maybe you're seeing a lot of Fours. And we also had... Underneath the Four of Cups, so 44, 44, you might be seeing that. All right. Yeah, this is something that's been going through a lot of uh, transformation, like really uprooting their life. Um, starting, starting out fresh, starting out brand new. You're open for new possibilities. This is somebody um, that is very focused on stability and security. Why is the Seven of Swords here? What are they hiding? This could just be a very private person as well. We have the Six of Cups. Okay, they're hiding their past, their childhood. So they don't really talk about their past too much. We have Scorpio energy coming through with the Six of Cups as well. So they could even have a Scorpio moon. All right. I feel like this person is wanting to start their own business as well. Uh, they have a lot of goals in mind. They're not afraid to start over. They're not afraid to start new. I feel like this person may even like traveling as well. Who is this person? Okay, well, how will group three recognize them? Or will group three recognize them? Will group three notice this person? Three of crystals. This tells me, yes, you'll notice them and that they're coming. This is about future anticipation. Okay, so how will group three notice this person? How will group three recognize them? Nine of Cups. I feel like with the Nine of Cups, this is going to be everything that you're looking for in a partner. Like if you, and I recommend this, um, you should do, I recommend if you haven't already, like, uh, do a love list. This is something that I did back in the day, like with my spiritual coach, uh, to really get clear on who I, not only who I wanted in a partner, um, even though I was at the time already married, um, but it helped me get clear on who I was inside as well. So, and where my values lied. So, um, this is not just about, you know, I want somebody with like red hair, blue eyes or something like that. This is, you, you can talk about physical appearance, uh, appearance, but this is going deeper. Like if you're religious, do you want this person to be religious? Do you want them to have, you know, the same religious background? Um, do they want kids? Do you want kids? If you want kids, then I assume you would want somebody who also wants children as well. Are you interested in traveling? You would write down someone who's interested in traveling. And I used to write it as like, my ultimate lover is blah, whatever, you know, 
is interested in healing, loves um, spirituality, loves certain, you know, I can't remember my list. I have it written down somewhere, but, you know, all those little things that you may not even think about, but this is about things that you value, that you would also want your dream person to share with you. And don't go small with it either. Don't be like, oh, it's okay if you know, you know, I really want kids, but you know, maybe they don't. No, if you want kids, put down that they want kids too. You know, don't settle. All right. So, yeah, I feel like this person's going to tick all of your boxes. <laughs> all right. What else? How will group three recognize this person? Nine of swords. This person's going to challenge you. I feel like you're going to overthink it when you meet them. They're gonna be, you're going to be like, oh my God, is this the one? Are they? They tick all my boxes, but are they? I feel like you're going to end up overthinking. <laughs> overthinking. Uh, we have the Knight of Swords. Yeah, you're going to be thinking about them a lot, like almost obsessively. I also feel like you're going to have dreams just before they come in. The Lovers, Gemini. Oh, you'll know right off the bat. I also feel like some of you are already manifesting this person in. We have, Ge did I say Gemini? We have Gemini with the lovers. Yeah, you'll know. But I feel like you're going to get too in your head about it. You're going to start overanalyzing, overthinking, but, you know, try to calm your mind. You'll know for sure. All right, so what makes um, group three fall for this person? No, they're going to break your heart. I'm just kidding. What makes group three fall for this person? You're not even going to give a shit about the pain. Whatever happened in the past, any heartaches that you've had, you're, this person's going to help you heal. So, any exes, you're going to be like, ex who? Like, you're not, you're not even going to care. Yeah, Ace of Diamonds, this is um, new. New opportunity. Healing. Ace of Diamonds is also manifestation, and now I can't talk again. <laughs> All right. Now, I'm going to ask, will this person recognize group three as the one right off the bat? Will they recognize group three? Oh, yeah, they'll recognize you. They're looking for you, too. What you are seeking is also seeking you. Okay. So, your oracle cards. Dreams feel like you guys are having dreams. Like I was saying, you have boundaries. Don't, um, you know, still set boundaries. And that's also like what I was saying about the love list. Don't settle. Be honest with your list. Be honest with yourself. This is about getting to know yourself on a deeper level so that you can bring in this energy. So that you know you are with the right person. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. 
So, you know, just allow it to unfold. It, it'll happen. Then we have contract. This reminds me of Libra energy. Okay. I'm going to clarify contract. When I see contract, I think of, like, not only business, but, like, feel like lessons. Why is contract here? I feel like this is saying, like, don't go into it blindly, because I've noticed her, like, yes, she's blindfolded, she's having faith, which, yes, it's important to have faith, but, you know, don't, don't be naive. Um, boundaries are important in all relationships, even marriages, friendships. Like if, if you are, for example, if you are into monogamous relationships and somebody comes in and you're wondering, could this be the one? And this person's coming in saying that they're poly. I'm, and that's not what you want. You want monogamous, just you and them committed. This would, this would not be the time for you to be like, hmm, well, maybe I could be poly. No, if that's not what you want, don't settle for that person. Same, like vice versa. If you're poly and this other person comes in and they want monogamous relationship, then that would be your sign to say no. <laughs> That's not the person. Like I said, this person will tick all of your boxes. Yes, you'll still learn as you, you know, get to know each other and you'll grow. And there's always room for growth and evolvement. It's never ending, but... Until, you know, we pass on to the other side. But, yeah. This is not for you to, you know, just say, oh, okay, I guess it could be that if it's not what you want. You're really going to have to be clear on what it is that you want, who it is you want. So clarify contracts. Six of Crystals. I feel like saying, don't let ego take over. I also feel that, you know, things, things are going to work out, but pay attention to your intuition. Don't allow ego to take control. Queen of Diamonds. Yeah, I feel like this is saying don't be a pushover. Like you can still be a kind, generous person without being a pushover or without being a people pleaser. If that is something you've struggled with in the past, you know, saying okay to things that really aren't okay with you. Maybe you've been shamed into certain things or like felt guilty for wanting what you want. Maybe people have judged you in some way. This is your time to shine. This is your time to take control of your life and what you want. All right, so I feel like that's it. Now let's see when this person's coming in. When is this person coming in for my group threes? I'm going to pull two cards just in case, you know, spirit's a little funny today. 
has a little sass. All right, when is this person coming in for my group threes? Okay, this one wants to come out within three months. Is there one stuck? Nope. So that's with by May. Filming this February, the beginning. I'm filming this February 5th of 2024, so by May. And we also have in August. So again, depending on when you were watching this, anywhere between now and August. It could be in three months, could be August when you are watching this. All right, so that is what we have for that. Let's see signs. All right, we have Pisces, we have Libra, Cancer with the fourth house, and we have sixth house, Virgo. All right, you have G, E, getting Jean or Gina. G, E, N, S, F, M, V, T, could have Steven, Steve, T, See Meg, Megan, T, C, V, S, CVS. If somebody works at CVS. It's not a drugstore. I think that's in the States. I don't know if we have one in Canada or at least in Ontario. I'm not sure. We have N, T, and P. All right, well. <laughs> Let me see if I can get a couple more vowels. I have an A and a D. A and D. I'm hearing Miranda. What the heck was that noise? It sounded like somebody just, you know belch downstairs hopefully it didn't pick up on the camera <laughs> it's probably one of my kids all right um getting fever <laughs> maybe they went to cvs to get some cold medication i'm also seeing sp you could be looking into manifesting a sp specific person maybe you don't have a specific person in mind but you're wanting to manifest in um, like love sp specifically to you. <laughs> uh, what else? Amanda, Mandy. I'm also seeing Mendez. So someone's last name could be Mendez. Dentist. Cameron. Uh, I think that's it. Pam, Pamela. All right. Yeah, I'm going to leave it there. So let me know if you guys see anything else in the tiles. And 
I'm wishing you guys all the best. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.